Hello, Mr. Price here, and this is question seven of the M2 paper, June 2005. Uh, this one's quite a nice tricky one, um, and this is on sense of mass and some moments as well. So I've got a rather complex looking shape here, and it's modelled as uniform rectangular planks of wood, um, joined together by various other bits and pieces. Um, just try and Okay, that's a little bit better. Okay, and we've got various dimensions of these objects, and we want to find the contact force at H when the barrier is in the closed position. Okay, so um, we want this contact force here when it's obviously going to be in equilibrium. Okay, so this is going to be a um, moment question there. So, first off, let's get a diagram going, as always. So I'm going to have, I'm going to try to make this quite big because there's probably going to be a lot of things going on here. So here's my square rectangular metal plate and this was how heavy? 80 kilograms. This whole thing here. And then I have a piece of wood going across like so. And this weighed, I'm going to try and keep it off the centre, uh, this was 50 kilograms. Okay, I'm going to take this corner as any dating positions. Okay, so firstly this is a square, so its centres of mass is going to be um, symmetrical. So I'm going to have a force going down here at the coordinates so this whole thing is 0 0.5 by 0 0.5 so this is going to be the coordinates 0 0.25 by 0 0.25 and then here is also symmetrical and the whole thing is 4 meters So again by symmetry, um, how wide is it? It's 0 0.25. So my centre of mass here will be 2 plus my half, so 2.5. Just make sure that's correct. Looks good. Okay, so 2.5 and, and then it's half of 0 0.25 up. So that is 0.125. Okay, and we want the centre of mass of the whole thing. That's going to be quite useful. So the going to need the area of both of these shapes. So the area of this one is 4 by 0.25. So this is an area of 1 metre squared. And this one is 0 0.5 by 0 0.5. So that's going to be 0 0.25 meters squared. So let's get the center of the mass of this. So x bar is equal to um, center of the mass of this. Oh no, I don't even need the areas of that, so because uh, I've got my weights. So um, 80, lots of 0 0.25, plus 50, lots of 2.5, all over 120, uh, 30 even. Okay, so after doing this, I should get an x value of 1.115, 1 
and do the same for wire bar and I've got 80 lots of 0 0.25 plus 50 lots of 0 0.125 all over 130 and this gives me a value of 0 0.2019 okay so if I it might help for me to roughly put it on where it is so let's see so we have 0.5 so it's going to be roughly here somewhere and it's 0.2019 up so it's going to be somewhere here my main center of mass it will just help me get a good idea of what's going on okay so now um, I have some supports going on here and here and I want to find the contact force at H okay so if we take moments about D that will remove this force so we'll just have three forces that we know uh, the cent or two forces that we know the center of mass and the result, uh, the reaction force here. So, taking moments at D, and we shall do this clockwise. We can say that we have. Um, the center of mass when that's traveling that's going downwards so D this is going to make it go clockwise so this is going to be positive um, what's the total mass 130 so positive 130 and you want the perpendicular distance from the pivot point which is this amount here So that distance, we know the distance from the um, datum position is 1.115. We want to take off this distance. So 1.115, take away 0 0.25. So that is 0 0.865 away from the position here okay so that's x bar we don't want this amount so that's just 0 0.865 and then we have this reaction force here okay and that's going to be going upwards so that's causing an anti-clockwise moment so minus our reaction force and we need to know how far away that is from here so the whole thing is 4 meters, this distance is 0.25, so that must be 3.75 equals 0. So 130, lots of 0.865 divided by 3.75 gives us a value of 0.75. oops I forgot my G value uh, beg your pardon so that needs to be a force not a mass so 130 G uh, 130 lots of 9.8 lots of 0.865 divided by 3.75 so that gives you a value of 293 newtons okay and um, for part two we're told in the open position 
the center of mass of the barrier is vertically above position D. And we want to find the angle between AB and the horizontal when it's in its open position. Okay, and this one's going to be a little bit more trickier. So let's see what we can do with this. So, let's do this really simply first. So here is my center of mass. And I know that, that is going to be vertically above position D. Like so. Okay, so here's my center of mass. Here's position D. Okay, and I'm being asked to find the angle AB and the horizontal. Okay, so what's going to happen is it's op open position. It's doing something like this. Okay, and we want this angle. So we know that this distance perpendicularly down is going to be the wire bar, so that's 0 0.2019. And we know that this distance from point D, okay, so this distance here from point D is the x bar minus 0.25. So 1.115 x bar minus 0.25. So we know this distance is 0.865. Okay. So now we can get some angles. This is 90 degrees, so if we get this, Beta, we can work out alpha. So um, we want to use tan. So tan beta beta is equal to the opposite over adjacent. So the opposite is zero point two zero one nine, and the adjacent zero point eight six five. So inverse tan will yield us inverse tan 0 0.2019 over 0 0.865 gives us 13.138 degrees. We don't want beta, we want alpha, so take 90 off of this, and this gives us a value of 76.9 degrees to the horizontal. Ah, that's my mistake. Um, sorry guys, so this isn't 0 0.25, it's 0 0.5, so I just I haven't taken enough off. So you need to adjust these values. Sorry about that. So uh, 0.865 minus another 0 0.25. So that should be 0 0.615. Okay, so that's going to slightly adjust this. Inverse 10, 0.2019. Divided by 0.615, so that should now be 18.1746. So take 90 off this, and this gives us 
weet je dat ze toen nog... Was...